the question of free speech came up and differing views on, on whether net neutrality is good or bad for free speech. And you know, people have written about, about social movements being able to get started under the era of net neutrality. They did get started, things like Black Lives Matter, et cetera. Yeah. And the question comes up, would those social movements or any social movement fr from the left or from the right, both of which uh, ha have, would face opposition, would they be less liable to be able to use that platform that that we all now take for granted. And I'll take it either to Tom or Mitchell first and then to the other side. I'll say there's two things. There's one, free speech for the ISPs, <laughs> you know, or free speech for the movements. And two, I think you can only answer that because the, the, each ISP has to make a decision of what is the best way to run its business? What is the most profitable way to run its business? In some cases, shutting out all competition isn't the most profitable because people get upset. In other cases, you can shut out a lot of competition. So the answer is, who knows? Okay. Who, like, okay. that's the problem with it. So I think Michael. this is, again, where there's just too much getting wrapped up all under the name of net neutrality. I'm willing to bet that if you asked ISPs, would you like to accept a rule that says you have to accept all legal content? You can't start engaging in censorship. And in return for that, and this is part of what common carrier regulation does, you're not responsible for what happens to it. And I think actually, and I know it's another layer, we may see this with Facebook, I think these companies would be happy to say we can't start judging what goes based purely on the content as opposed to the nature of the bitstream just technically, you know, as a video or something. Because look, it's a big pain. This country has a serious problem with speech. Part of it is we've got to make sure there's not limits on free speech, but part of it is we've got to figure out how to have limits on hate speech and misinformation, and we just have not come to grips with that. And so I agree that it's a really serious problem, and I think we've got to deal with it at the ISP level, we've got to deal with it at the platform level, but that's not what most of net neutrality is about, but I do agree on that one.